Hello and welcome to the Arkansas Weather Blog, your ticket to big weather events. I think it's been, I can't even remember the last time that I did a blog video. Uh, it's all been text and, and uh, images, but you get a blog video. And I want to talk to you a little bit about, and not waste your time, but talk to you about the dust, the Saharan dust that you're hearing so much about that we were talking about on social media last week, uh, heading towards the United States. Uh, there was one post I saw on Facebook where somebody said that if 2020 couldn't get even, couldn't get any weirder. Well, uh, that's some misinformation that's going around that this is something new and it's not. Uh, we have had plumes of, uh, dust from the Saharan desert move into the United States. I remember countless summers where this has happened. We have now the tools, of course, to track these types of things. However, I will say this. This is a pretty substantial plume of dust, and it's going to provide for some hazy skies for portions of the southern and southeastern United States. It's also going to bring about some beautiful sunrises, sunsets. They should be outstanding in places that don't have clouds. But what about visibility will it get down to the ground and that's where i have questions i'm not saying it's not it's, it's impossible it could happen uh you see it obscuring visibility in some of the islands out in the atlantic i'm gonna show you a picture of that and track this dust in just a little bit but uh it it is obscuring visibility in just a little bit but oftentimes in the past this is usually suspended way above our heads now will it get down to the surface down here and obscure our visi visibility and and, and cause some people to sneeze or something like that. Well, that's yet to be seen. Uh, I think a lot of it's going to be suspended up in the air, but could some of it reach down to the surface? I guess it would be possible. One thing to watch, if you get any thunderstorms, which build up into that layer of dust, uh, and again, that's a big if later on this week because the thunderstorm activity is going to start to settle down, but some of the uh, raindrops... Uh, will collect with the dust particles, fall down, and when the raindrops dry out, uh, it could leave a film of dust on cars and objects. I've seen that before from West Texas dust. Uh, and that would be Saharan dust if that did happen. And again, that's a big hit. All right. I've got a picture from an Arkansan, by the way, that I want to show you uh, that is in that area. Uh, this is Buck Island, which is almost due east of Puerto Rico near the U.S. Virgin Islands. Actually, that's where this picture was taken. In the top photo, that's Buck Island off in the distance in the uh, water uh, from Brian Ch uh, Ch Chapel. Not quite sure how to pr uh, pronounce that, but that was just a few days ago. And now look at the visibility in the bottom. So the same picture, uh, or the same view, I should say, and that's obscured with the Saharan dust. So that's the haziness that you would expect. Uh, we also look at the uh, satellite to track this. Now, this was, I'm recording this late Monday, uh, early evening, actually. Uh, and there's Buck Island there, just, just to the east of the uh, of, uh, Puerto Rico and east of the U.S. Virgin Islands there. But uh, anyway, you see that area, especially right in here, this is the dust. Uh, this is at least part of the plume that's been coming across uh, the Atlantic Ocean. One good thing that it's done, it's doing, it's suppressing tropical activity. Uh, so that's at least one good thing about this. But this was earlier in the afternoon at about 1.40. I want to show you the visible satellite imagery of that because that was when it was very easily seen. All right, so this is a computer model uh, this evening showing that Saharan dust and, and a big plume coming off Africa. In fact, there's still some, uh, if you look there on the far right side of your screen, you still see some of that dust. So let's take this out into time. By Thursday... Some of it will be, it'll be in the southern United States from Texas to Louisiana, uh, Mississippi, into Alabama. But the leading edge of that, according to this computer model, uh, could be into southern areas of Arkansas. Uh, it will continue to come in on Friday, but on Saturday, look how much more dense that layer of dust becomes Saturday morning. It looks like that that uh, dust is uh, suspended up there pretty good and it's going to be hazy. Uh, when you look at the sky, I'm going to take this out to the future a little bit more and see how it becomes, it, it dilutes, maybe uh, gets caught up there. See, it's coming in from uh, winds that are blowing from east to west. Now the westerlies are going to pick it up and blow it back out towards the east. So uh, it looks like it dilutes a little bit by the last part of the weekend into the beginning of next week. Again, uh, I've seen a lot of things on social media that are saying, you know, this is something that's uh, unusual to happen. No, this has happened before. Uh, this is a substantial plume of dust. There's no doubt about that. And that's why we could see some hazy skies and some brilliant sunrises, especially sunsets. 
uh, but will it reach and, and will it get down to the to the surface? That's a big question I have, and I, it, it wouldn't be impossible given what I'm seeing out there in the Atlantic. But typically, these things are pretty suspended uh, aloft by the time they get here and it dilutes out a little bit. But this one looks like it could be substantial. Uh, it'll be interesting to see how that happens, and then we will, of course, do that for you at Channel 7. Thank you so much for coming to the Arkansas Weather Blog. We are your ticket to big weather events.